spiritual chorus. The field is overripe. The field is overripe. But the laborers are few. The laborers are few. The field is overripe. Oh Lord, send in thy worker. Beloved, if you are not in spirit, where can you go? You must have heard the testimony from brothers Solomon Eti and Apostle Aibio. They said one cannot be a Christ servant if there is no Holy Spirit in him. What can you do if Christ is not in you? If we do not follow after him and work according to his directing, we are deceivers. Christ himself really, really knows that we would be unable to accomplish this work. And she said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. This is in John chapter 16 verse 7. It is said that it is only the king who knows the secret of his kingdom. Without the Holy Spirit, none of these works could be accomplished. If you do not sanctify yourself unto him, you cannot go on with this work without believing and standing firm in him, you are nowhere. The word of God says that all they that lament and call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, the question is, how can you call on the name of the Lord when you believe not in him? How can you call on him who you do not believe or in whom you are not faithful to? And the scripture further query how people could know God when there is no preacher. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Romans chapter 10 verse 15. This is the task before us because it is quite unknown to the world that the Holy Spirit is here in our midst. Hence, people continue in backbiting, jealousy, hatred, murder, stealing, fornication, and idolism, among other vices. This is because there is no one to preach to them, and you as a man of God, what aid? Have you rendered in this case? You told them that the Holy Spirit is here on earth. What then is your work? Behold, to practice the gospel which you do not attach any importance to is a very difficult thing. Moses gave a commandment so as to differentiate between the real children of God and the other set of human beings. But now, the Holy Spirit has come by himself, sending no one to teach us about the way of existence and manifestation of God. Then, if we should possess love, we will realize that God has come to make his abode with man and has fully started his work on us. He dwells in a clean heart and wants us to follow after his footsteps. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught his disciples to go out in twos and when and wherever he wanted to visit and when and when and wherever he wanted to visit he must surely sent two people to such a place to inform the people there that whosoever would refrain from sins and follow after God would be saved. There was a reason for that practice. That was because he did not 
want his visit to any place to be a surprise to the people this is also the great task that is set aside for us to embark upon but now that you continue in snuffing fornicating and other vices what then shall you preach to others it is said that to whom much is given much is also expected hence the coming of our lord jesus christ was not known to the world he has come and revealed himself unto us but upon this self revelation you believe him not what more do you expect him to do stop fornication stop stealing telling lies idolism and surrender yourself completely unto him god has come personally he is here in our midst sending no one he is the holy spirit all the happenings in america in india and in other overseas countries are as, are as a result of disobedience and if man were to refrain from telling lies and committing all manner of vices he would have been free believe and get baptized go to the entire world and disseminate this great tithing of this kingdom so that the entire world will be in perfect peace and harmony go and clear the bush i will come and set the fire these words are given to you so that you may be free and all the sins you have committed may be remitted most people keep on calling the name of the father and roaming about the premises of god claiming to have seen god behold they have not seen god and will not attain the everlasting promise that was meant for them because they do not go out and disseminate the word of god for others to be saved through it and once you go contrary to this divine rule the holy spirit has no dominion over you this explains why i admonish you daily roll on the ground cry and beg you to accept these teachings for your future hope the most important thing to do is to stop telling lies stop eating meat and fish stop fornicating murdering and all other vices once you stop these acts and go further to tell others that the holy spirit has come and if they should listen to you and refrain behold your ways will be widely opened and all problems and difficulties at that same time will vanish this is a war which is greater than that which blood and flesh can fight the holy spirit tolerates no misconceptions the work of the flesh has no connection with the work of god and if we should surrender and abide by his injunction we will clearly see what he can use us to accomplish the holy spirit is with man many people are thinking that god will crash land at any point in time but right now i am declaring to you that god has already come hence his consuming fire catches everything that does not hearken to his divine instruction this kind of spirit had never been in existence an american woman who is a missionary in a church followed sister Ephron to 34 Amber Street reading the gospel titled my mission when she came to see me I told her to go and be baptized when she insisted on asking certain questions I told her not to bother asking any question for if I should answer her questions it would be likened to one giving a mirror to a blind man 
But behold, after this woman was baptized, she stopped asking questions. Her eyes were completely opened and her request to me was nothing but love. She did not ask for her husband, her children, or a car because she knew that without God, nothing can exist. This sister remains a virgin and has been ordained a deaconess. Sister Ephraim advised her to request the father to grant that her expired visa should be given to her, but she retorted and told her that requesting a visa from God is carnal. You who have been here for more than 20 years, do you know that carnal words are not needed here? Asking for money for children and, and dismissal of court cases depicts carnality. The Holy Spirit does not work in such environments. He will only ask you to baptize others in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and forgive your brother's sin for whosoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. But to any that does not believe, he has come as a fire to burn. This is very, this very war is that of fire, and all those that will not believe shall be burned. Who is this fire? Is it not the Holy Spirit? Whosoever shall not accept the Holy Spirit will be burned completely and all the true believers will live with him in peace and harmony. This is, your, this is your task. Right now, you have been commissioned to go and preach to others and get them informed that the long-expected Holy Spirit has arrived. Advise everyone to refrain from committing sins. For once they all forsake and refrain from committing sins, the deaf will hear, and the lame will walk. But if you continue in sins, others cannot accept your punishment. Sanctify yourself for him, because with him everything is possible. There is no necromancer whose daughter suffered from hemorrhage or other or for over 12 years but he could not help the girl. Unable to cure the girl, a brother advised him to take his daughter to the father. He asked whether his daughter's problem could be over after seeing the father. The brother answered him in the affirmative. The brother took the girl with her father for baptism after which they were brought to see the father at that time the flow of blood was severe immediately she set eyes on the holy father she shouted that her problem was over and they all followed me from 26 maburka road to 34 amber street for the blessing Believe in him perfectly, even inside your room, and you will be saved. Believe fervently in the Lord, for he will never leave you comfortless. Another testimony by Brother Solomon is about a brother who was saved from the evil one. He said the brother was trapped down in a river for two weeks. Brother Solomon said that after his release, the brother called out to the father, acknowledging him as the sole spiritual head. Is this not wonderful? Now, if you are not faithful, how can you go out and proclaim the Lord's work? Even before me, you make a lot of noise and discuss ceaselessly. With this kind of attitude, how can you go out and speak about the existence of God? 
I really pity you because you know not what the Holy Spirit is. Now that the Holy Spirit is here, who amongst you have seen him? Who have seen the light in our midst just as revealed by the Egyptian that the light here has come? To all the nooks and crannies of the world we are in the light John said that in the kingdom of God there is no temple no Sun or moon to shine but that Jehovah God as well as is Christ is the light who has seen this light what have you to say about all these situations? The Spirit of the Living God has come. This is confirmed in the spiritual song. Spirit of the Living Lord, come and lead, for it was written that you will lead. Now that the Spirit of the Living Lord has come, why are you still doubting and singing? Why are you still doubting and arguing? The Holy Spirit has come. Without Him the entire world could not have been saved. His reception must be organized yearly he has overcome the war and has received the glory unto himself. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Luke chapter 14, verses 13 to 14. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed. For they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Your specific duty, beloved, the above constitute your work. It is a work that is accompanied with faith. When you say you want to be with the Father, but can Continue in fornication, in fighting, telling lies, anger, and such vices. How can you be here? Go to the entire world and tell them that God, the Holy Spirit, has come. For this is our work. Anyone that engages in idolatry, fornication, gossiping, murdering, or any other type of evil is bound to perish. Nobody in the entire world is expected to commit any evil. The reason many people have problems is because in the time past, if one did not fornicate, cause division, cause murder, persecute, and indulge in other type of atrocities, he would not be recognized and regarded as a normal person. But the God in our midst is the truth. He works in truth and judges in truth. His judgment is true and just throughout the entire world. If one does not come into this kingdom, where will he go? Brotherhood is love. All the birds, all the trees and other creation must possess the same love for one another else your ways will be closed this constitutes your work and through this we will be recognized in this kingdom god works in all hence christ said he came not to be served by men but to serve others and to give his life a ransom for many here in this kingdom, the Holy Spirit feeds you every time. Do you think that all those who struggle for the feast are of this kingdom? 
This is the key to this kingdom. Hence, you are told that when you celebrate a feast, you should invite the poor, the maimed, the lame and the blind. By so doing, you will be blessed. Do not call on the rich for her. They are not after your services or aid. This is the work of the Holy Spirit and wherever you see this practice, know that the Holy Spirit is in control. This work is not done by flesh and blood, but by the Holy Spirit. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Galatians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward to do. The work of God. Beloved, the above constitutes what you are expected to do. Care for the poor. Through this, you will be blessed. To care for the poor and the needy are our main task, and it is what is known as brotherhood. Go out and practice what you have heard here. In 1 John chapter 3 verse 2 it states, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall do, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now, if you do not practice his teaching, how can you know him? How can you help the poor and the needy? For this is the real work of God. You are all assigned for this, and it is what I want you to carry out whenever, wherever you go. The most honorable work before God is this very task. Serving and helping the poor. Read the golden text again. Golden text. James chapter 1 verses 26 to 27. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Brethren, a man of God does not speak at all times, but he does that which is expected of him. This consists of helping the poor and the needy, or else he will perish. Whosoever comes here for the daily services of God but refuses to bridle his tongue is not a real child of God. If your words are not encouraging and you refuse to render services to God such as helping the poor, the weak, the distressed, the widows and orphans, your position is in vain. With this, be very careful of yourself because once you put your mind in the carnal things of the world, you will be annihilated. Whatever you do, let it be pleasing and good to others. Do not live in a compound where wicked people stay. What connection have you with a village that has no contact with God? Beware of whomsoever you speak to. Do not speak evil of any man.
for such things are carnal before God. This was exactly what happened to Paul. Read Acts number, read Acts chapter 19, verse 8 to 12. It says, And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick and kerchiefs and aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them, Therefore, refrain from all the works of the flesh and follow after the directives of God. Refrain from telling lies, from causing problems and speaking evil. Rather help the poor, the sick, the weak, the widows, the orphans and the needy. This is the real work of God. And it is through this that your blessings will be greatly surprised. Brethren, it is said that a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. He who has ears to hear should hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the whole world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.